so this time we're going to look at what is resistivity or resistance of a wire I should say because resistiv resistivity is involved so first of all you have seen resistance in these equations okay V equals I times R Oh, in that, that equation, V equals I times R. But what, and I've told you resistance is basically um, the opposition of charge, okay? It basically resists charge. But what is it, okay? So, R, resistance. We can, re we can write it as this weird symbol, resistivity rho, it's a Greek symbol, times... A certain amount of length, the particular material type, divided by its cross-sectional area. Okay, so we know the units are ohms for um, resistance. This is length. Okay, and this is just going to be in meters. This is cross-sectional area. This is going to be in meters squared, and then this is resistivity. So. Um, I'm going to show you an app to help you understand this. We've got resistance, resistivity, length, and area. And here is a diagram of what's actually happening. Notice what happens when I change the resistivity. Okay, notice the R becomes larger. Okay, uh, meaning resistance increases. So resistivity is basically a property of the material. So a good material a good material that resists current would be paper okay it's a poor conductor it's a good insulator so it will have a high resistivity value however um, a good conductor like copper will have a very low resistivity value okay meaning its resistance is very low now if i just put bring our material to a normal resistivity level what happens if i increased its length okay well if i increase its length the resistance does increase as well Okay, um, if I increase its cross-sectional area, look what happens. The, resist the resistance decreases. Okay, from a mathematical point of view, if you're, math if you're a mathematician, you can see why that is the case. Because the larger your uh, denominator is, obviously the larger this value is going to be. Okay, anything. So if you divide something by a million, it's going to be uh, zero. Okay. Oh, sorry, infinity is going to be zero. Okay. Um, but think of it, there's a nice game that I like to think about called British Bulldogs. Okay, basically, um, let's say this is your playing field and you've got one team on this side and then you've got your team in the middle that's trying to stop the people getting from this side to that side. Okay, if we increase this area, it's going to be easier for this team to get to this side. However, if we decrease it like this, same amount of people, okay, involved in both teams, but this time it's going to be even harder for this team to get to that side. And look, that's why the resistance is very high, 